Hi, I'm author and illustrator Jean Nave, and this is a reading of the story Bernie's First Christmas. Bernie is a Scottish Terrier we rescued through our relationship with Aberdeen Scottish Terrier Rescue. It was our intention to foster him, but his precious personality made us have to adopt him into our pack of rescued Scotties. So this is the story of his first Christmas. Arf, arf, said Bernie to the robin as it slipped just out of his reach and flew away. Bernie, a young black Scottish terrier, spent the first six months of his life in a small cage. He never saw the sun or heard a bird sing. He only knew wood chips, dirty water, and an occasional bowl of dry dog food. Then he was rescued. In his new home, Bernie learned about blue skies, bright sunshine, and more wondrous things than he could count. His new brother and sister were two older rescued Scotties, Harry and Lola. Bernie watched how relaxed they were. How can you be so calm, he asked Harry one day. There is so much to see and do and so many squirrels and birds to chase. Why do you just sit there? I used to chase birds, but then I learned they simply fly away, said Harry. What's the point? Bernie thought Harry was an old fogey. Let's dig, Bernie said, and off he went to dig a hole to China, hoping his mommy wouldn't tell him to stop. One day, Bernie's new mommy hung three fancy stockings on the fireplace mantel. What's that? Bernie asked Lola. It's almost Christmas, said Lola. Those stockings mean that good dogs are going to get a lot of special toys and treats on Christmas morning. Good dogs? asked Bernie. What does it take to be a good dog? That's easy, said Lola. All you have to do is not get scolded by Mommy. You have to walk quietly on a leash and stay out of trouble. Bernie trotted over to his favorite corner and thought, Have I been a good dog? Has Mommy scolded me too many times? This was important. He didn't want Harry and Lola to get all the toys and treats. He had to really think about this. Bernie thought about Smokey the Magical Cat. He loved Smokey, but nothing was more fun than chasing Smokey up a tree or making him race for the fences. So many times Bernie almost caught him, but Mommy would yell, Bernie, stop! Don't you dare hurt that wonderful cat! Would Mommy remember how many times he'd chase Smokey? Would that keep him from getting special treats on Christmas time? Bernie slipped outside to think, think some more. In the yard he saw the pesky gray squirrel he always loved to chase up the tree. After the squirrel ran up the tree, Bernie would sit there and bark and bark and bark. Soon Mommy would come out and tell him to stop barking. But Bernie loved to bark. That's what dogs do. They bark. Barking is how he yelled at the squirrel to get him out of the yard. He really didn't care if the squirrel was in the yard. He even liked the squirrel. But chasing it up the tree and barking at it was fun. Would Mommy remember how many times he'd barked at the squirrel? Would that keep him from getting new toys at Christmas? That night at dinner time, Bernie quickly finished his food. He was still eat Harry was still eating, and Bernie rushed to Harry's bowl, shoving the gentle Harry aside. Oops, thought Bernie, and he quickly backed away, letting Harry finish his own meal. How many times had Mommy scolded Bernie for stealing Harry's dinner? But Harry was a slow eater, and Bernie was always hungry for more. Why couldn't he have Harry's food if Harry wasn't going to defend himself? That was being selfish, Mommy would say. She'd tell him that Harry was the kindest, gentlest dog in the world and Bernie should be nice to him. Would Mommy remember how many times Bernie had eaten the last of Harry's dinner? Would that keep him from getting those special treats Lola had told him about? After dinner, Daddy always gave the Scotties twisted pork chews that were yummy and really good for their teeth. Bernie quickly ate his chew and lurked behind Lola, trying to figure out how to steal her chew. Oops, again! Bernie thought, how many times had he taken Lola's chew from her only to have Mommy tell him he was a bad boy? 
Would Mommy remember how many times? This is looking bad, thought Bernie. What else have I done? The bad dog list was getting long. Concerned, Bernie headed for one of his favorite places, Mommy's Closet. In the closet, he saw the pair of slippers on which he had chewed a few days earlier. Mommy had been really unhappy with him about that. She said, Bernie, we give you lots of things to chew. Why do you need to almost ruin a good pair of slippers? Now Bernie got really concerned. He knew Mommy would remember the slippers. There they sat, right there in the closet, reminding him her that he had been a bad boy. Maybe he should hide them under the bed. Would that stop Mommy from remembering the slippers? Was he going to have any Christmas goodies at all? Now at night, Bernie could hardly sleep. He was thinking about Christmas and those special toys and treats. What was he going to do if he didn't get anything and Harry and Lola got all the good stuff? Bernie thought, I want to do what I want to do, but I want to be a good boy too. Bernie ran outside to the backyard to think about this problem. As he sat outside looking at the trees and plants, his eyes reached the spot on the yard where Mommy's herb garden had been. Oh no, thought Bernie to himself, remembering the day Mommy cried. Digging is a Scotty's most favorite activity. They're built to dig, low to the ground with strong short legs. They can dig faster and deeper than almost any other animal. Now this is Bernie thinking. Soon after Bernie came to live with his new family, he found himself in the middle of wonderful smells and soft soil. He was so sure a critter was down there in the dirt. Dig, dig, dig. In no time at all, he had a huge hole. He was so proud of himself. Look at what I've created, he thought. A hole that is ten times bigger than me. Then Mommy came outside. One look and she screamed. It was fall and her herb garden was just ready to harvest. Every year she dried herbs and used them to make delicious dinners during the winter. But Bernie didn't know that. The stuff just looked like weeds to him. Mommy didn't even look at Bernie. She just sat down and cried. After drying her tears, she worked to save a few herbs. She never said anything to Bernie, but he knew he had been a bad boy. And now he knew there wasn't going to be Christmas for Bernie. Bernie didn't want to hear any more about Christmas. He loved his new home. It was filled with so many wonderful things. He'd still get his pork chew every night after dinner. He'd still get to play outside and feel the wonderful sun on his back. Forget Christmas, he thought. I, need, I don't need anything more. I'll just sit and watch Harry and Lola get the toys and treats. Maybe Harry will even share something with me. Christmas morning arrived. Harry and Lola were so excited. Nothing in the world was more exciting to Lola than food and treats. Why are you so quiet this morning? Mommy asked Bernie. Do you think there is something wrong with him? Mommy asked Daddy. This will cheer him up, Daddy said, as he brought down a fancy stocking with Bernie's name on it. It was filled to the brim with toys wrapped in Christmas paper for him to tear through and oh, the smell of special treats. Bernie didn't know what to do first, tear open a present or eat a treat. How did he get so lucky? Mommy and Daddy, Mommy looked at Daddy and they both looked at their new Scotty Bernie. Mommy said, I know he's been a little rascal, but he has such a wonderful heart. Christmas is about love and we love our Scotties. Merry Christmas, you sweet puppy dogs, said Mommy and Daddy together. As the Scotties were enjoying their Christmas presents, Mommy looked down at her stocking feet, and she asked Daddy, Have you seen my slippers this morning? <gasps> oh! And that's the end. We hope you enjoyed the story, and if you would like to purchase the book, as an ebook, it's available on Amazon.com. It's also sold in print as one of three stories in the Harry and Lola Christmas collection. 
and that is also available on Amazon.com and at Black Butte Ranch's gift shops and their web store. All profits from the sale of this and all Harry and Lola books goes to Aberdeen Scottish Terrier, Rescue of Oregon and Southwest Washington. Thank you.